Okay, so the next thing we want to look at is animation. So this is when we want to bring a bit of life to our presentation. So at the minute, when we run the, the slideshow or the keynote, I'm going to play it here from the start. So you can see we press the enter button for the first one, press it for the second one, and everything appears on the screen as once. Okay, what we want to do is we want to start bringing them bullet points in one by one. And we're going to do it now. So the way we do it is, click on the placeholder that we have the bullet points in. You can see it there, it's highlighted in blue. So I'm just clicking on it once. I'll do it again. I'm clicking off it. Just click on the placeholder once, we're in the area. And what we want to do is, up at the top right hand corner, we have the animate option. You can see it here. So we click the animate option. And then it gives us the options for add an effect. So we click on add an effect. At the minute it's set to none. It gives you a load of different ones here. Now some of these here can be quite gimmicky. Some of the ones you can see appear or blur or dissolve or drift. These are going to be nice, um, nice subtle ones. Whereas other ones are going to be typewriter is going to be gimmicky, them type. I'm going to do the appear first. If you can do one of these, you can do them all. So by all means, you go and try different ones just to see what they look like. I'm going to do the appear one. Okay. Now, what's happening is, if I click on it, it's coming in. So I'm going to play it. And I'm going to hit enter. And you can see it's all appearing at once. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to go down here to the delivery options and you can see it says all at once. We want to put it down and put it to by bullet. And what it's doing is then it's going to go from build from first to last. So it's going to go from the first bullet to the last bullet. So I'm going to preview my keynote now to see what it looks like. You can see I'm clicked on slide three. So it's going to start from slide three. So we click on play. It's going to open up. I press the enter key once, the first bullet point comes in. I press the enter key and next time the other one comes in. Another time the other one comes in and then the fourth time another one comes in and then I press enter and it goes on to the next slide. So you can see the way it works straight away. It gives you more control over the type of things that you're doing. Now, I want to go back again and just show you. So at the minute, they're appearing. I'm going to show you one of the other ones. Just I don't usually do them, but we'll do them here. So just say, for example, maybe sparkling or sparkle. So you can see the way they're coming in now. So they're more gimmicky. You might like it. With these ones here, there is different durations. So we can set the duration to maybe three seconds. You can preview it, see what it looks like. So it burns just like a kind of a, a fuse wire. It goes in, depending on what you're doing, it might work for you, okay? We'll put it full screen just to see what it looks like. Full screen, so we press enter, the first one comes in. We press enter again, the second one comes in, and so on. You can see the way it's working there. So some of you may like that. So you can see the different ones there, you can do it. They're, they're not as bad as, as they used to be, okay? So change, different ones there. There's the typewriter if we preview it, so you can see it actually types it out. Might be good if you're trying to do like an older style thing that you wanted to see it typing out for you. Okay, so that's it. That's how you do it. The other options here we have are down at the very bottom called build order. So you can see build order. This shows us, it opens up in this small window here. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see the, the window. This is showing you the order that the bullet points are appearing in. Okay, so I'm going to click on the first one. The first one is selected then, and you can see here it starts on click. If we wanted to, we could say after transition. And what that will do is it will come in after. So we have slide two. It's going to transition to slide three, and then the first bullet point will come in. So we can set it maybe to, we put it to two seconds or one and a half seconds. And I'm going to preview it now. I'm just going to zoom out for you just so you can see it. So what's going to happen is, Slide one is there, then it goes to slide two, then slide three. Once slide three appears on the screen, after 1.5 seconds, it's going to come up with the first bullet point. Now remember, the rest of them are still set to unclick, so I will have to physically click the rest of them, but we'll preview it anyway just to see what it looks like. 
So you can see the 1.5 seconds and there it comes up. I'll show you the way it would look on the full screen mode. So if we start our slideshow from the very start or our keynote from the very start, we press, we have to press enter for these. So enter, there's the second slide, we press enter. Now, after 1.5 seconds, it will start appearing. Okay. To move on now, we have to press enter again for them ones. What we could do if we wanted, we could go down. So we have these ones selected here. We're, we're working with these ones here. We go back into the build order and we'll click on the second one. It's, it was on click. We'll say after build one and we'll give it maybe five seconds. I'm going to type that in there just to be quicker. And then we'll click on build two. We'll say after build two or build three rather after build three and that goes to five seconds and then we'll say build four and then we'll put it after build three and we will put it to five seconds so what's going to happen here is when we go from slide two to slide three it's going to wait one and a half seconds and it's going to bring up the first bullet point it's then going to give people five seconds to read that and it's going to bring up the second bullet point five seconds the third bullet point and five seconds the fourth bullet point so you'll see it now so we'll close out of it i'll just go back to slide two i won't go back to slide one just to start to present it, this keynote so we'll start it from slide two so we're on slide two now we press the enter button hands up just for proof so it'll do the first one it'll give you five seconds to read it and then it'll come up with the second one It'll give it five seconds for that to happen. It'll come up with the third one. So this would be a good thing if you were trying to automate it. So if you were putting it maybe in a some of the um, keynotes I've seen or maybe in restaurants, you know, advertising things, you can do that. So you can automatically set it that you don't need someone actually sitting there doing, doing the, the button. Now, word of warning for you. If you were going to do an automated thing like we're just doing if you're going to do a presentation you don't want to automate it because you don't know how long you're going to spend talking about each bullet point someone may ask you a question and you might have to spend longer on one section than the other so you don't want the presentation going away behind you so you're better clicking it by yourself or using a clicker or your phone or your ipad in a live situation if it's pre-rehearsed well and good you'll be able to to do it there okay just want to briefly take us in and show you the pictures. Same thing, click on the picture, go to animate up at the top here, go to add an effect, and then we can go to maybe drift and scale. You'll see what it'll do, so it'll come in for you. There's different options, we can change it to see. So we'll do, you can do the sparkle again if you want, or it won't give you a typewriter now, I don't think, where it'll give you a flame. So you can see, so these are the gimmicky ones that I was talking about, okay? So there's gimmicky ones there that you can do. Dissolve is quite a nice one. If you were trying to create a mood, nice and subtle mood, Dissolve is, is a good one. So I'm going to go back to number, I'm not going to go back to number three because it'll take 20 seconds to do. I'm just going to play it from here. So when I click, you can see the picture comes in. And what you could do if you wanted, so we have the picture is coming in first. I'll show you the build order down at the very bottom here. So your picture, Alvor Knight, is coming in first. So we'll close out of that. I'm going to click on the text box that we have. I'm going to add an effect. And I'm going to maybe put that in with typewriter. And I'm going to go to the build order. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to go after build one. And I'm going to put it up to maybe one second. So what's going to happen is when I press the button, because remember the picture is, is on the press button still. When I press the button, it's going to appear the picture. And after a second, then the writing is going to type right across it. Okay. So we play it from the start. I press the button for the picture to appear. The picture appears. And then after a second, 
the writing will go across the bottom. So you can see it's kind of automating it for you. So what you can do is you can you can get groups of things ready. So like the picture on the text box or the picture on the caption so that you can have it ready beforehand so that you don't have to click, click, click. You can just click once and everything else goes with that picture. But you don't want to be in a situation where things are happening on the screen behind you and you're still speaking. Okay, now this all goes with the whole lot. We can click on a table, we can animate a table and we can maybe do the same thing. We can do move in, wipe, drop, drift and you see your table will drop in as well. So it can all be done right the way through it and the same with the, with the charts. So if we click on animate, we add an effect, we maybe put them into drop. So you can see they drop in or we might want to change it. We can do any of the other ones. So maybe um, drift or move in. You can see they move in and the bounce. So different options there. So you can do, do them all. There's special effects maybe is, um, you see, can we put flame? Okay, so there's a load of different ones there for the charts. Okay, now with the chart options, I'm just putting them on to, appear there so they just appear in so they're they're straightforward enough okay so as well as being able to bring things in like the text earlier on and the bullet points we can also bring things out so if we click back on the box that we have here so we've been bringing the stuff in we can go in and we can do the build out so you can see at the top here we are building in you can click on build out and we can add an effect and we can just say maybe fly out Okay, and instead of all at once, we can do them by bullet and first to last. So now we have a dilemma here. So we have stuff building in automatically. We have to go to make sure that it all works properly. So you can see here, we have one, two, three, four building in and then one, two, three, four building out. So what we'll do is we'll click on to number one and it's going to go after build four and we'll put it up to one second. Number five then, or number six, is going after build five, it's gonna be one second. And number seven is going after build six, and it's gonna be one second. And number eight is gonna be after build seven, and it's gonna be one second. Now you could also do them the opposite way, you could take one in, take it out, I'll, I'll show you that now too. Okay, so I'm going to preview it now. I'm gonna turn these down actually. Instead of being five seconds, I'm gonna put them down to three seconds because it's a bit long for you to sit watching me doing it. Is three seconds. Three seconds isn't too bad. Okay, so they're all one, one, three, five, one and a half. Okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead and we'll play it. So they're only three seconds now, they're gonna wait. So when we play it, it's gonna run by itself, hopefully. So one and a half seconds, these come in. Three seconds after that's on the screen, the next one's gonna appear. Then three seconds after that's on the screen, the next one will appear. And then three seconds after that, the next one will appear. And then a second after that, they're gonna start going out. So you can see them automatically doing it. Okay, so that, that's giving your, your readers time to view that thing, okay? So you can see that you're building things in and you're building things out, and this can be done with anything. If you had a shape, so if we put in a shape, so we have a wee people shape here, just any kind of one at all, just for the maybe the elevated walkway. So if you wanted to show people the elevated walkway, you could build that in, so you could add an effect, we could just make it, flame we we'll go with it okay it'll appear and the time it delivers so that's it all at once we'll go to the order so we have the man walking and we want it to appear after the elevated walkway which is here so you see the way i can just drag it up now i just need to make sure that it's after build four yeah and it's we put it to half a second after it so 3.5 kilometers is coming in, then this one, then this one, then this one, then the picture of the man walking, 
and then everything else is going to go out okay the man walking will stay there and we know it's going to stay there because we haven't brought it out i hope you're still with me on this so if we play it'll play by itself i like keeping my hands here so that you can see that i'm not pressing anything so it goes right the way through it so after the elevated walkway the flame will appear the man will be there and then the man will stay there the rest of them will all go out okay and the man won't go out because we haven't set it to go out we could set it now to fly off or whatever the case is okay so that's the most important things covered now on animation in the next lecture we're going to look at transitions and what transitions is it's bringing one slide in and taking the other one out so we're not the, the contents of the slides it's taking the slides themselves okay so we'll see you in the next lecture